We're in West Kendall, in South Florida, getting ready to talk to Yoel Romero, UFC fighter who will be competing against Machida at the Hard Rock Live on Saturday, June 27th. As you see, there's American Top Team. This is the training facility. American Top Team, Kendall West. That's where Romero's been training for this big fight here in South Florida. Romero, an Olympian who defected from Cuba, is now a member of UFC training and will be competing against Machida on June 27th, that's Saturday, at Hard Rock Live near Hollywood in South Florida. It will be a big event. American Top Team, very, very, very prestigious MMA training facility. There are several in South Florida, including this one right here. That's the sign of pride, the sign of MMA. The elite American Top Team here at Kendall West in Miami where Cuban Olympian Yoel Romero is training for his big fight against Leodo Machida which is June 27th at the Hard Rock Live in Hollywood, South Florida. UFC. UFC bringing the action here to South Florida. We're here at American Top Team, Kendall West, here in South Florida in Miami, and I have the pleasure to meet and interview UFC fighter, Cuban Olympian, Yoel Romero. He has a big fight coming up Saturday, June 27th, at the Hard Rock Live, right here in South Florida, in Hollywood. He's going to face former UFC champ, Leodo Machida. First question I have to ask you, what is this fight going to be like? You're living here in Miami now, correct? Yeah, I live here in Miami. This is correct. What is the fight going to be like, being that it's here in South Florida? Um, I think this is a big uh, moment for the Miami, you know, because I never, um, never used to have uh, too close for Miami one uh, show, you know. This is very close for Miami. I think this is a uh, it's amazing for the people, for the uh, Latino people and for the Cuban people, you know. I think it's a, it's a great time for the, for the people, for the Latin American people. You mentioned that in South Florida is a very big population, Latin America, very strong population. And is that one of the reasons that you chose Miami to live in? Because of the strong relationships with the South American, the Latin community, they, it was a, a little more comfortable to live in Miami. Creo que, creo que es muy, que para mí es factible, ¿no? Ya que la fanaticada, todo, todo el cubanismo, toda la cubanía va a estar cerca. Y eso eh, hace que uno se inspire, ¿no? Y, y se crezca en estos momentos. Creo que es muy bueno para mí que la pelea se esté dando acá en, en Miami. Joel Romero, how do you describe yourself as an MMA fighter? Who are you as a fighter? ¿Cómo te describo como peleador? ¿Quién eres como peleador? Bueno, eh, me describo como un peleador que viene en ascenso, un peleador que, que, que ha tenido la bendición de Dios y que por, esa, por ese motivo, por esa misma cuestión es que estoy donde estoy hoy, gracias a Dios. Me describo 
como una persona sencilla, humilde, aguerrida y... y I mean, he's a fighter. Uh, he's gotten what he's gotten to through God. He owes a lot of it to God. Uh, he's very humble, very sensitive fighter. Uh, so much. Uh, me, me describo como que he sido eh, dicho, eh, eh, he sido bendecido por Dios. He's been blessed by God. Definitely. What do you think of this upcoming fight and your opponent, the former UFC champion? ¿Qué crees de esta pelea y tu oponente que fue campeón? Bueno, creo que es una pelea muy importante. Es un muy buen fight. Ya que, ya que nos estamos acercando a las puertas del cinturón. We're getting closer to the belt, stepping up close to the belt. Y creo que, que el oponente merece todo respeto. He's one of the legends of the sport. And of the UFC. He was world champ 205. And he's all beating other legends as well. So when you're fighting a legend, when you're fighting a legend, does that make you a little bit more Aggressive? Does it make you step up your game a little more, or no? You're always that way. No, no, me siento igual. He feels the same. Yeah, he feels the same. Yeah, he feels the same. When you started your MMA career, what made you love it so much? What's the passion to be involved? When you started your career in MMA, what made you love it so much? What's the passion to be involved? Bueno, quería otra meta, quería ir a, quería probarme en otros terrenos. He wanted to test himself in another field. He was already world champion wrestling, and he wanted to try himself in something new, which is MMA. You were a Olympian, a Cuban Olympian in wrestling. What was the experience like? Competing in two Olympics and winning a medal in the Olympics. Which Olympics? How was the experience of competing in two Olympics and winning a medal? That is the dream of all the athletes who participate who are amateurs. That's the dream of all wrestlers, amateur wrestlers. De todos los atletas en cualquier deporte. Of all athletes and all in all three sports. Llegar a los Juegos Olímpicos. Y ya llegar a los Olímpicos, ser medallista de los Olímpicos, es es algo verdaderamente. In the Olympic Games and to win a medal is something really. Es algo verdaderamente maravilloso. Marvelous. Where is the Olympic medal now? It's in Cuba. So the only so you haven't seen in your house in, in your house in Cuba. Do you still have family then living in Cuba? Brothers, sisters, sisters. How difficult was it to leave Cuba and defect? So I guess to Germany and then to America. The difficult was to leave Cuba to Germany and then to America. The difficult was he to leave Cuba to Germany and then to America. It wasn't hard for him to leave. It's just hard for him to be away from his family. Does the family get to see him fight at all? Does the family uh, with a TV or anything or, or radio or something? Yeah. Yeah. Was there any point when you were defecting that you were worried or scared, whether it be for yourself or your family? No había ninguna punta cuando estaba saliendo en Cuba que subiste miedo para ti o para tu familia. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque no, mi 
familia que tenía comunicación con ellos y todo el tiempo decía que estaban muy bien. Nunca tuvieron problemas, ninguno, ninguna vez se acercaron a mi familia a decirle algo de quitarle la casa. Nunca fueron asediados, nunca fueron perseguidos, nunca fueron eh, asediados, nunca fueron. Defecting now is, it's always hard, it's always difficult, always hard, but it's a little bit better if you're defecting now than say 20 years, 10, 20 years ago, if that was the case. Bueno, creo que sí, creo que, en poca, que, que antes era más difícil, creo que antes era más difícil, pero el, el separarte de, de, de la familia, de tu casa, de tu parentela siempre va a ser difícil. Leaving your family, your house, everything you used to do is going What's the biggest challenge for you in UFC? Obviously the goal to be a champion. Do you also want to be an American citizen? Además que ser campeón de UFC también quiere ser ciudadano americano. Sí, claro. Eso sería otro, otro, otro paso, otro galardón. Es otro triunfo en mi vida. And it's would be to become a citizen. So become a citizen, become a UFC champion, and become a citizen. Would it be a goal for you also to, to bring your family here? Será un reto también traer tu familia para acá. Definitivamente, tener a la familia conjunto con uno sería algo más confortable. Uno va a estar más, va a estar más happy. You'll be a lot more happy, a lot more comfortable with your family as well. El poder que mi mamá, mi papá. Puedo asistir a una, a, a una pelea mía en vivo, eso para mí sería. Parents there and our family there live would be indescribable. In Miami, do you have any family, any relatives? In Miami, aquí tiene familia. Sí, tengo a mi esposa, tengo. His wife. Tengo mi hija que vinieron conmigo de Alemania. Ahora en este momento tengo un tío que vive en mano de mi papá. Y un so y un primo mío. Does that make the transition a little bit easier too? Because so many family, yeah, you have some family. I can talk to them, I can see them, they're going to go to my fight. What was life like growing up for you as a Nino in Cuba? There's no racism. Ves en cualquier lugar, en cualquier esquina, tanto negro, blanco, todos me, todos bien mezclados juntos. Tú sabes, se crían bien, bien juntos y es bien, eso se ve, eso es bien bonito ver eso. When did he? When did you start excelling in sports? What was the? Was it wrestling? Was it baseball? Was it another sport? Bueno, fue en lucha, en pelota, hasta todo el mundo. Yo siempre quise ser boxeador. He always wanted to be a boxer. Pero mi papá no me dejó. But his dad didn't want to. Porque decía que era muy rudo el deporte. He said, he said that it's very rough. But, but you're an MMA fighter now. Por ahora soy adulto. Now he's an adult. O sea, pero bueno. Empecé a tener resultados positivos en lucha. The coaching there, how is the coaching there, even compared to coaching in other places? Lo entrenaste entrenadores allá, cómo es comparado con el otro lugar. Bueno, yo tengo, he tenido la la dicha, ¿no? He tenido la dicha de de He's always had the, he's had the luck of always having great success. Here as well as here. I mean, over there as well as here. When you started your wrestling career, 
was there always a thought for you that it was the Olympics? You said before, the all the amateurs. The Olympics is a dream for all the amateurs. But when you're first starting out, do you think that, or are you just thinking, I want to win a tournament? Cuando empezaste, empezaste a luchar, principio de todo. Tú empezaste a olimpiada o solo ganar, ganar, no sé, el torneo local. No, no, cuando uno empieza con dominio, no empieza a olimpiada. No, he said when he first first started, he was going to take my team up this year. He just started wanting to beat his neighbor. <laughs> now his your brother boxes. Yes. How did he get to box and you didn't get to box? <laughs> Oh, because he was the first one. He was the first male. Joel was? Yeah. Okay. Okay, he was the oldest son of his dad. Yeah, it was more watering down process. <laughs> So the bro your hermano, your brother, was luckier <laughs> that he was younger. <laughs> what are your goals now, UFC champion? Uh, what what goals do you have? Is it just is it just UFC, or do you want to do other things like Ronda Rousey has done other things? Is that something now? Like uh, movies, TV. Well, how does he feel? Or do you feel that you are a role model for Cuban Americans? Role model, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, a, a, a figure, a uh, someone to look up to, someone to look up to. Like the Unidos, for example, and he always wants to be beautiful. So what you know? Positive, simple, yeah, oh, simple, simple, and uh, humble, humble, humble. Who, who's your trainer now? Who's been working with you now? And uh, some of the sparring partners, people that he's been working with. Who are the trainers now? And the body partners. My trainers now are Paulino Hernandez. Luis Trini Parnas, es Max, Michel Batista, Jorge Masvidal, y José Cáceres. José Cáceres. Who has he met so far, whether it be in lucha or MMA, that he was couldn't believe that he was meeting that person? ¿Quién ha conocido personalmente o en lucha en MMA que te dio una... Uh, no me puedo creer que estoy uh, uh, bueno. uh, en la lucha cuando conocí a Alexander Carelli Alexander cuando conocí a Hector Millán Hector Millán Hector Millán uh, en MMA cuando conocí a a referee John McCarthy <laughs> uh, <laughs> ¿Por qué? Big John. Uh, es, fue uh, cuando yo lo veía estaba Cuando se empezó el Ultimate Fighter, cuando empezaron los Ultimate Fighter, sí, los primeros UFC, que casi no había rejas, que era todo el mundo contra todo el mundo, que cuando peleaba tanque, en esa época yo lo veía, ¿Estás listo? Cosas así, entonces, cuando lo vi que él iba a ser mi referee, ¡guau! Me quedé, ¡guau! Y eso me puso muy, muy excited. Eso me puso muy excited. ¿Sabes si él va a referir tu match en el 27 en el Hard Rock Live? Si ese va a ser el árbitro cuando pelea con Marcelo. ¿Qué va a hacer? 
if he does? Or what will you do if he Get does? Get out of here. Get out of here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a little more communication. But always. Let's talk a little bit more. We have more communication. I've seen it more often. But always having a personality like this as a referee gives security at the time of the game. No, no, no. Because you know you don't know what's going to happen in the fight. You know what's going to happen in the fight. Maybe you are the one who is 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 the one who is